Hi, it's me, Flatlander, and I wanted to start right off with an apology to John DeLynn. John may be most famous for his podcast entitled Mormon Stories, but he recently started another online community named Stay LDS. John has also produced a YouTube screencast entitled Why People Leave the LDS Church and authored an article entitled How to Stay in the LDS Church After a Major Challenge to Your Faith. John encourages folks to stay LDS even if they don't believe any of the doctrines. He says, forget about this truth concept and in fact encourages members to just throw out bad doctrines. If you raise your children in Mormonism, be ready to deprogram them from the church's teachings. In fact, he says the Mormon church's real intent is to compel obedience, not provide enlightenment. John suggests you pay tithing to the Mormon church but hence, you may want to reduce what you give to Mormonism by as much as 90% and give the rest of the money to a cause that is actually worthwhile. John has a lot more stuff like this, and in the past, whenever I thought about it, it hurt my brain. Then, John went on the Mormon Expression podcast where he said that in the last few years, he has personally counseled a thousand folks regarding their disaffection from Mormonism. He said that he had just started a Ph.D. program in clinical and counseling psychology because he wants to be better able to counsel and help disaffected Mormons. Then it hit me. John has created a new religion. His new religion has a completely different theology from Mormonism. Mormonism teaches that we must pray, pay, and obey, and that the entire purpose of life on earth is to prepare for what happens after we die. Virtually everything in Mormonism teaches us this life's sole purpose is preparation for life after death. John makes it clear he doesn't believe in the God of Mormonism. He rejects at least some of the teachings of the Mormon prophets and in fact has to contort definitions of common words just to be able to consider Joseph Smith a prophet. John's focus is on helping people and on improving the quality of their lives in this lifetime. That's why what John calls his middle way, I refer to as the Church of John DeLynn of Latter-day Saints. John, I'm sorry I ever criticized you or your teachings. The Church of John DeLynn of Latter-day Saints is equally as valid as any other Mormon church. But then, so is the version of Mormonism that I belong to. I belong to the Moron Church of Latter-day Saints. I encourage you to visit the Moron Church's website. It helped me, and it can help you too.